Hey guys, how's it going? Today's back again with episode number 11 of the AC Milan career mode series here on Xbox One. And as you can see, this is the last episode before we reach that January transfer window. We'll be heading into it tomorrow, and I asked on Twitter a couple of days ago, because I really want to delve into this this time around. We haven't used this particular function in either of the two the career mode series that we've done so far on FIFA 14. I want to have a look at getting some of the players you can pick up on a pre-contract in the January transfer window. I asked on Twitter earlier on uh, this afternoon, I'm recording this on Saturday, I asked on uh, on Twitter earlier on this afternoon about some uh, some players that uh, you can potentially pick up during this pre-contract window. So players like Robert Lewandowski, who I probably won't go for, I think he's already moved. Uh, Blaise Matuidi, uh, I've been told that Yunus Kabul is a potential as well. Uh, obviously our, our own Koizuki Honda and, uh, and Abate were in the list as well from the original, but of course Honda has since moved to uh, to AC Milan from CSK Moscow, but still, uh, yeah, I kind of want to use that function because we don't actually have a lot of money at uh, AC Milan to spend at the minute, and uh, to be able to pick up a couple of decent players on pre-contracts would be quite helpful for uh, for the future of the series and of the team as well, heading into a second season where we're hoping to be a little bit more competitive on all fronts than uh, we have been so far in this series because our, our squad isn't necessarily weak but it's not necessarily strong when it comes to uh, to squad depth we've got a decent amount of players but some of the players in the rotation side like Silvestro there that's made the mistake that's let Zenit St. Petersburg equalise in uh, this Champions League game uh, they're not necessarily of as higher ability as I would like to have in a rotation side so if there are some players that uh, will be going out hopefully either in this January transfer window or in next the, uh, the next summer window and uh, some players that I would like to get in not necessarily names that I know of I want to get in just you know in general positions that I'd like to strengthen in so um, let me know down below in the comment section what sort of players will I be able to pick up in this pre-contract transfer window if you can find one or let me know of one or two that uh, I've not seen on Twitter if you don't follow me on Twitter by the way at Chesnoy Gaming is, uh, is the Twitter handle um, I, uh, I always tweet out stuff with uh, with regards to my series on there more so than I, uh, I do with um, you know, putting it into uh, into commentaries, etc. Because I pre-record a lot of my stuff, like uh, you can do with career, and it's nice to be prepared, etc. And be three or four days ahead of the uh, ahead of the turn, so to speak. So uh, uh, I do kind of uh, get a lot of my feedback from you guys on Twitter, as well as in the comments, if I uh, slow things down a little bit. But uh, hopefully, uh, you guys can come up with some decent suggestions in the comment section. Of course. If uh, I've got to have a little bit of money to spend, as you see, we uh, we finished this game 1-1 away at Zenit in uh, in Russia. We are going to finish top of the group. We are going to progress through to the next round of the Champions League. So we do have £10 million added to our transfer budget, which we will be available to use in this January transfer window, which is something I'm definitely going to look to do. So hoping to get some pre-contract players in as preparation for next uh, next summer, next season, and uh, we'll also look to perhaps strengthen with a player or two in this particular window as well. But as you can see, uh, the, you know the transfer window is not going to start until tomorrow's episode. So leave me loads of comments down below, and uh, I'll get through as many of them as I possibly can. You know, by scouting and uh, looking at some of the players on on foothead, etc. With uh, with regards to potential, because that's something I've delved into a little bit more with this series as well. I haven't previously with the, the Chelsea or Tottenham career mode series or even the Atletico one that we briefly started uh, I kind of did that all through uh, through using my scouts etc but it's got to the point where you know we're a little bit later on in in uh, the the life cycle of this series and it's it's going to be more beneficial now to uh, to look at the you know things like forehead and the career mode and see potential um, upgrades etc for players rather than just doing it all through in-game knowledge etc so uh, that's what's going to happen there but anyway let's cut to the gameplay so because we're already a game and a half in we're already one nil down here against Roma La Roma are as we play this game top of the league joint level on points with Inter I do believe as we head into this one but Rubinho is going to come so very close to getting us back on level terms there hitting the outside of the post with that unfortunate effort but with just a couple of minutes later we're on the attack again the whip comes in and Balotelli has a good header there he's got a lot of space to get uh, the ball exactly where he wants it but unfortunately doesn't place it in uh, in the right place and it's an easy save for De Sanctis but Kazuki Honda is going to set up Montalivo here he's going to have a strike and it's De Sanctis making another decent save this time palming it away down to his right hand side before the Roma defence is going to clear but as you can see from this string of highlights here we were on top heading in towards half time at the end of uh, the end of this first half against Roma and Polly is going to strike off the inside of the far post to bring us back to 1-1 just before the break vital time to score and that was a really fantastic way to, uh, to get the goal as well really great strike from the edge of the box, hits it really, really powerfully, and uh, 
pinpoint accuracy as well to get it away from De Sanctis because as you've seen he was making a lot of good saves so we needed that extra little bit of accuracy to make sure that uh, we were able to get ourselves back in the game and it was Polly running on to, uh, to have a shot there at the uh, hour mark as we push into the second half and uh, this is going to be a rather long section of uh, our highlights as you can see De Sanctis makes save after save after save again one for the uh, first corner another from uh, the resulting chance from this corner and then a second save there from uh, from the man that tried to dink it at the back post you see they brought on Michel Bastos for uh, for Florenzi we're gonna have another chance here as the uh, the ball drops to Montalivo on the edge of the box goes to finesse it it drops to the edge of the box another good save from De Sanctis they try and clear it but it's not gone yet Abate knocks it down and you'll see there Polly goes down over the leg of Jovino and I'm not too sure as you can tell from the re or you will be able to tell from the replay as uh, Jovino is clearly very, very angry at the decision that's gone, gone against him. But you see, I don't think he sees him coming over his shoulder. Shoulder goes to clear it and just kicks him as Polly comes across him. It is just inside the uh, the boundaries of the penalty area. So it is a penalty and Mario Balotelli does not miss from the penalty spot other than that earlier uh, penalty against Napoli in the opening day. But, you know, we'll brush that aside. Mario's done very, very well from the spot for us this season. And uh, he puts us 2-1 in front. But Roma were going to step up their game. They're clearly top of the league. And, uh, you know, there's a reason behind that. They do play very, very good football. And Javinho plays the ball across. And I was particularly disappointed with uh, Victor Guita there. If you're going to, you know, dive and palm it back out into play, palm it up and away from going you know, if you're going to punch it out punch it out not just palm it back into the six yard box which is exactly what he did and unfortunately they got themselves level and honda came oh so close to getting us back in front there with the last chance of the game in the 88th minute it's a fantastic strike with his left foot and unfortunately just didn't have that little bit of accuracy we had earlier on in the game through andrea poli so unfortunately we take a draw from that one and we lose the opportunity to uh, to catch up on one of the teams that are above us in the league but the final game of the episode as you can see on your screen is a very very big one it's well, technically away even though it's at the same stadium against Inter Milan. It's a massive, massive game. Now, they sit just above us in the league. Roma still sit top, having uh, having obviously picked up the point against us in the previous game. But we've got a game in hand on the three teams above us and two games in hand on Roma, who sit top. So if we could pick up a win here, that would be absolutely crucial for our league chances. Unfortunately, uh, Mario Bellatelli, after pouncing on the the, the mistake from Juan Jesus, Jesus gets back across and makes a great tackle to a ball out for a corner. But the chance isn't gone yet. The corner comes in. It drops them on to leave on the edge of the box again and Balotelli with a wonderful first touch and turn and then smashes it right into that top right hand corner we most definitely will see a replay of that again because we were talking about accuracy of strikes in the Roma game and this is absolutely perfect the first touch sets up really really nicely and that is just phenomenal right into that top corner Mario Balotelli has been absolutely superb for us so far in this series it took me a while to get used to playing with him but uh, he's doing very very well indeed and a player that's coming on strength and strength at the minute is Koizuki Honda who grabs us a second goal now just 25 minutes in and we're 2-0 up against our biggest city rivals so we're uh, very very pleased with the way things are going and I slagged Honda off in the last episode on uh, on Friday saying I wasn't enjoying playing with him he then scored two goals to uh, to you know kind of prove the point that he is worth keeping in the team and then uh, he scored another goal there to uh, to give us a tuna lead although unfortunately one of those goals was scrubbed off there as you can see they are going to pull one back it's Botta, I believe, the uh, the defender that gets them the goal. I was kind of annoyed again at uh, Aguita. Rather than either catch it or just punch it away, he just kind of flaps at it like uh, he's playing patter with a ball or something. Really don't understand that technique. It's quite frustrating, but uh, fantastic finish to, uh, to bounce on the rebound by uh, by Botta. And unfortunately, they brought one back. But we head into the second half. Just after half time, Kaizuki Honda's going to pick the ball up on the edge of the box. Going to twist and turn with it a little bit. And of course, I want to get him onto his left foot. And that is exactly why I wanted to get him onto his left foot. What a glorious strike from Kaizuki Honda. He scored two goals in the previous episode. He scored two goals in this game alone against Inter Milan. And uh, I don't know what to do with Kaizuki Honda. Honestly, as we head into the January transfer window, I was thinking about getting rid of him. But the way he's been scoring goals recently is in a real purple patch. Great run of form. And I don't think I can... I don't think I can. I have it in me to move him on. He's been absolutely fantastic in the past few few episodes. So perhaps he's uh, he's kind of earned a grace period, and we'll see how we get on with him until the end of the season in uh, in the summer, and then maybe make a decision then. But we're going to run out three one winners in this game with those two goals from Kazuki Honda, and of course the fantastic strike from Mario Balotelli as well. So we stand very very well in uh, the table as it's as uh, we look at it now. We sit in fifth. 
Uh, although we do have a game in hand on all of the teams above us. And should we win that game in hand, which I, I think, judging by the uh, the rest of the table, should be against Livorno, who have also played 16. If we can win that, we will actually move up to second and into those Champions League spots. So it's all to play for as we head into the rest of the week. Now, feel free to leave me loads of comments, like I say, pre-contract players and anyone you might like me to look at to, to sign in the window. Of course, bear in mind, I don't have that much money to spend, so we can't go out and splash on big players just yet. But uh, that's going to bring this one to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if it could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb again thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers i said it in yesterday's my player series but for any of you that don't watch that series and watch this one instead then you know huge thank you to you guys for the consistent support on every single video on the channel but uh, that's going to bring this one to a close so if you missed the previous episode which was last friday feel free to click the link on screen on the right hand side there's an annotation there to take you to that video of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link in the description and on screen there's an annotation on the left hand side to uh, to subscribe to the channel and like i say feel free to interact with me on twitter as well if uh, for any reason you know you want to have some sort of impetus into into either of my series twitter's probably the best place to have that actually as opposed to the comment section on the video so feel free to uh, to interact on either way you know either on twitter at chesnoy gaming or in the comments here with players to sign so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you tomorrow with more ac milan career mode and of course my player tomorrow evening as well